And this amazing Siege coin is just one of the highlights of today's Numistaka video, uh, along with some other stuff which is maybe a little more modern. Um, we're also going to talk today about the importance of community for coin and precious metal lovers. Whether you're brand new to uh, collecting coins and precious metals or whether you've been at it for some time, one of the most important things is access to your fellow collectors. And traditionally, that was uh, at tables, at coin fairs and, you know, and, and those kind of social events. Times have changed and we are in the era of forums, social media, and electronic means of connecting and communicating and selling and showing and talking and learning and all those things which maybe we did in a more traditional way in time gone past. And I want to just show you two of the, the ones that I participate in myself where I have personally learnt a lot from the experts who are in these particular places. The first one I want to suggest to you is the Silver Forum uh, and uh, it's a free registration forum but there's also additional features and benefits for paid members at different levels, bronze, silver, platinum, uh, whatever. And you can see here the, the, the richness of um, information on the forum is absolutely tremendous. So it's a great place to see uh, videos, it's a great place to do sales, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a, a wonderful alternative to eBay, for example, for selling your coins with a low trading price. Uh, it has raffles and uh, support and some great dealers. Uh, and I would certainly recommend that everybody who is a, a sub on my channel is also a registered user of the Silver Forum. Link is down below. Pop down there and say hello. Say that Numistaka sent you uh, so they know you're watching my channel. And, uh, and you don't have to, to, to worry about joining in any paid way, but you can certainly uh, take advantage of most of the facilities, even as a free registered member. And the other community that I'd like to recommend to you to join is my own community. So I started this community some time ago, and it's got uh, 1,100 members. Um, it tends to be fairly selective in terms of who, who we let in. Uh, we ask a few questions and we like people to give you know, nice answers to those questions in order to show that they really want to join a forum like this uh, because um, you know, it's important to, uh, to have people who are really going to contribute positively to these kind of areas which are both uh, a learning, sales, social, uh, news and, uh, and other information. So uh, link below, please do uh, click on the link and ask if you can become a member of this private group, uh, the Numistaka uh, Forum on Facebook. So in the rest of this video, I'm going to go through a few of the most interesting things that have arrived this week. And one of the most interesting and exciting arrivals for me, because I don't get to see very many modern American coins, are two coins uh, in the new um, basketball series for 2020. There's a gold proof one here, and it's... Um, uh, and also a silver one, a silver proof one. We'll do the gold one first. And as you can see, it's one of these coins that is concave uh, or convex, depends on which way you look at it, I guess. Uh, and uh, it fits into a special capsule. And uh, it's just really interesting design. You know, and it's funny how some American coins can be as dull as, dull as ditch water, I guess the same for British coins, but some can be innovative and interesting. And uh, I don't know how Congress managed to get this one passed, but they have passed a design which I think is great. I just love the, the action of the 
basketball players reaching up into the net with the net in the background. It's just a really, really nice modern design. Absolutely love it. And uh, these two coins hopefully will do very well. NGC are pretty good at grading these coins in wacky shapes. Um, and, uh, well, I think, uh, you know, hopefully they'll do pretty well and maybe even get a special label. And talking of wacky shapes, this is probably the one of the wackiest shapes you'll ever see on a coin. It's got the moniker of uh, the crest of Charles I. He was the one that got uh, beheaded. And uh, this coin is it's what's known as a siege coin. So in 1646, uh, the, the royalists, uh, I think headed by Prince Rupert, were kind of chased up and took refuge in Newark. And uh, they basically, there was a siege of Newark. There was a kind of, you know, people on the outside with large guns and uh, firepower and uh, Newark being defended. And, uh, and they basically took whatever they had and they stamped these coins, these siege coins on it in order to pay the troops. Um, but that is a half crown. And regularly you'll normally see roundy ones, but that's one of the very, very rare and beautiful half crowns from the Newark siege. And with loads of great new coins coming out in September, October, there's never been a better time to buy from the Coin Connection. Code BARRY for 2% off in September. Well, it's not every day that I get some of these very, very uh, pretty pink packages containing a coin that I have personally bought. And today is one of those exciting days that the Coin Connection have sent me one of these coins. Uh, one of the reasons I buy from the Coin Connection is that they take quality control seriously. And I know that when I buy something from the Coin Collection, they will have reviewed it. Uh, if it needs sending back, they will have sent it back and got a replacement. And, uh, and they will have made sure that I get a first-class coin. If they're not able to give me a first-class coin, then they're going to tell me the reason why not, and they'll give me the best that they can possibly get hold of from the Royal Mint. So I think uh, they generally try and provide a value-added service. And you can see here, this is the second coin in the James Bond coin, the Pay Attention 007 coin, one ounce gold proof coin. And although the silver coins have very high mintages, the gold coins have very low mintages for this series. Very popular series, the new James Bond film coming out very shortly. Um, a lot of people say that this second coin in the James Bond series has the best design of the three of them. There's 350 odd of these coins minted and uh, so they they sold out pretty quickly and uh, I think you know they, they are a coin which I consider to be a really good buy and in high demand. The silver box is, in, is for the second coin. The first coin came in a black box. Be interested to see what the third coin comes in, uh, whether it's silver or black or different color entirely. And you get this little brochure. It's the same as you may have seen in the video I did of the quarter ounce, but it's kind of blown up a little bit to fit in to the one ounce box. And, uh, you know, the, the, the coin is a really iconic subject, really. And they've chosen, I mean, Bond is always iconic, but the Wet Nelly sequence is probably one of the most iconic, along with the, maybe the gold thing, the gold, um, yeah, the gold finger um, chase scene with the Aston Martin. Uh, this is probably the second most iconic. And I think the design of this is best. So, coin missing, but do not fear. The coin um, has been put for safety in a second package so that there can't be any problems with transport or coming out a capsule or getting scratched. And uh, also, there's a low, a low uh, serial number, which is great, a low uh, COA. You can see here... 360 coins maximum coin mintage, 350 in this presentation. So this is, for a one ounce silver coin, this is a very low mintage coin, high premium, low mintage, great subject matter. But now let's have a look at the actual coin. Um, so, uh, and these have been doing very well, by the way, in the secondary market. The number one version of this coin has done extremely well at various auctions. Lots of demand for this coin. So 
two coin connection packages to unwrap. I remember when I was a kid, there used to be a, a sweetie shop called the Pied Piper in, uh, in Kingsbury in London, and they had a Lucky Dip, uh, a Lucky Dip um, box where a little toy was put into tissue paper wrapped up just like this, and, uh, and then it was in a whole load of straw, so you couldn't feel around too much and see which, white, which toy you were going to get. And then you used to pull out something like this and see whether you got, uh, you know, got a lot of value for your sixpence or whether you've been duped. Uh, I know with this one that it's going to be great uh, value. I know exactly what's inside it. And I'm really happy to see it's been so well protected. And, uh, and there you have it. Wet Nelly. Pay Attention 007. It's my favourite design of the three so far. I just love that kind of thing. And you can see there the bubbles. Uh, the bubbles floating above the coin. They're not uh, spots, they're bubbles. Um, no, and the coin is is pretty good. And uh, I'm actually going to send it for conservation as well because I tend to conserve most modern coins because NGC have a great service which doesn't cost too much, which then cleans these coins up. Uh, doesn't clean them in terms of harsh cleaning, which would be really bad, but it cleans the coins up and... Uh, Having cleaned them up, the surface is kind of nice and pure without any fingerprints, without any handling marks, without any bits of dust or glitter or things that you sometimes find on modern coins from the mint. So that's the service it's going to get. Very happy with this. Um, this was, uh, I think, a really, really nice coin to have in my collection. Hope you like this video. I try and put a few things together for different tastes, some modern, some old, uh, a little bit of commentary. So, uh, you know, and we'll go on in that vein in future future Numistaka videos. Uh, if you like it, click on the like button, please. Uh, if you don't like it, then don't click on the other one. And we'll see you soon.